Welcome back. Now, in example 1 of chapter 3.1, we'll be dealing with some quadratic equations whereby we will try to find the sum and product of roots. Okay, and using that, we will learn how to find more advanced uh, problems, okay, or solve more advanced problems such as the sum of the squares of the roots. Okay, so in this, in this uh, example over here, let us first write down the fundamental equation for a quadratic equation which is given in this form. So after writing this down, I can identify my a to be 2, my b to be 6, and my c to be 3, okay, just by comparing the coefficients over here, okay. So using the formulas at the top left hand corner of the screen, I will see that the sum of roots which is alpha plus beta is negative b over a which is simply negative 6 over 2 Okay, and uh, this can be simplified to become negative 3. Okay, next, the product of roots is given as alpha beta, alpha times beta, okay, which is c over a. And since my c is, is 3 and my a is 2, this is just 3 over 2. Okay, so next, let us move on to find alpha square plus beta square. So in order to solve this, we will have to consider a separate expression. So if I were to consider alpha plus beta entire, entirely square, okay, and this will just give me alpha square plus 2 alpha beta plus beta square, okay. So if you stare at the right hand side of the equation, we sort of have the terms that we want, okay, it's just that we have this 2 alpha beta over here. So I'm going to shift this to the left hand side of the equation. So this, the equation will now look like this. Okay, and I'll get this. So therefore, we can sort of conclude that alpha plus beta, alpha square plus beta square is simply alpha plus beta, whole thing square minus two alpha beta. Okay, and alpha plus beta is just negative three square. Okay, and then alpha beta is three over two. Pressing this into our calculator, we'll just arrive at the final answer, which is six. Okay, so the key takeaway for this example is to know how to find your sum and product of roots, okay, and finally using those to find the given roots that the question wants. Okay, so yeah, let's move on to the next example. Okay, in example 1b, we have a similar equation, so I will not show you how to find your sum and product, I'll just write them out, okay, because it's the same as what we solved earlier. Okay, so my sum of roots is just negative 3 and my product of roots is just 3 over 2, similar to the previous example. So now we want 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. Okay, so recall that if I want to add up two different uh, quadratic, I mean, sorry, algebraic expressions, we will first need a common denominator. Okay, so the common denominator which I pick would be alpha beta. Okay, so for the first fraction, multiply by beta top and bottom, okay, to the numerator as well as the denominator to get beta over alpha beta. And for the second fraction, multiply by alpha, okay, then we can sum them up, okay, so this will give me beta plus alpha over alpha beta. And this is similar to alpha plus beta over alpha beta. Okay, so at this point in time, I can substitute in the values that I found earlier. So alpha plus beta is just negative 3 and alpha beta is just 3 over 2. Simplifying this with the help of a calculator, I'll just arrive at the final answer which is negative 2. Okay, moving on to our last example, we are, we are using the, a similar quadratic uh, equation. So therefore, let me just write out the sum and product of roots. Okay, so the sum of roots is negative 3 and the product of roots is 3 over 2. Okay, if you're still unsure how to get the sum and product of roots, actually I'm just using the formulas on the top left hand corner of the screen. Okay, alternatively you can move up, move back to example 1a, okay, which will give you, okay, which will show you in greater detail how to get the sum and product of roots. Okay, so in this question we're dealing with 2 alpha plus 1 multiplied by 2 beta plus 1. So what I'm going to do here is to expand out this expression. Okay, so expanding this out, 2 alpha times 2 beta will give me 4 alpha beta. Okay, following that I'll get 2 beta, 2 alpha, and 1. Okay, so let me just uh, factorize out some terms to make it look more obvious to you. So 
this will look like this. Okay, so at this point in time, I can perform my substitution. So alpha beta is 3 over 2, so 4 times 3 over 2, and beta plus alpha is the same as alpha plus beta, which is just negative 3. Okay, substituting all this, in, or rather calculating this using our calculator, I'll just arrive at the final answer, which is 1. Okay. I hope these examples help. So in summary, okay, for the first part of this chapter, it is important that you know how to identify the sum of roots, which is alpha plus beta, and the product of roots, which is just alpha multiplied by beta. Okay, and before I go, I'll just leave you with some practice questions. You can try these uh, questions on your own. Okay, and finally, thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. Thank you.